Hello world, this is Darth Tamanis here one more time. You can see over my shoulder there is my tree farm. Now next what I'm going to do is take you on a tutorial of how to build a basic wheat farm and then I'm also going to show you how to build my automatic wheat farm. Um, if you saw my other world tour um, I had five different automatic wheat farms um, at my actual farmhouse and here in this world I'm going to do a very very similar build and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. There's a lot of um, you guys asking me how to do it. So um, here's what you need. You need at least one stack of dirt for the wheat. You need some half slabs. You need at least ten um, and then some more for decorations. You need a bunch of wood. Um, you need to make it automated, you need pistons. Now I went um, over down into that ravine and dug around until I found some redstone. So I got a bunch of redstone, um, then I came back up. It's an awesome ravine, we're going to go back in it and um, there's some gold that I saw down there. There's a bunch of iron and a bunch of coal, but I really just went down there, got some redstone and got out as soon as I could because guess what? There's a lot of bad, bad guys down there. All right, so let's get started. Um, you also need a lever. Um, you need a redstone. You need um, an axe because we're going to be dealing with wood, and I will most likely make a mistake. All right, so first thing that you want to do is go ahead and just lay down the dirt, and you want dirt with one, um, you want four rows of dirt, eight long, on both sides with a row of water in the middle. Now I am um, building this here um, just because I think this is going to be a little bit easier than um, actually trying to get um, water. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so here we go with the eight. Okay, so I've got my um, rows of eight already done. I haven't tilled it yet. Um, probably should, but um, I'll do that a little later. I'll be walking on it a lot. Okay, so you see that I have um, one row of water in the middle. That row of water, whenever you do till it, is going to keep all this dirt in between moist so that whenever you put the seeds down they'll grow. Now what I'm wanting to do is do that on both sides which is one reason why I built this on water is because I wanted this on both sides. So I have two wood planks on both sides and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my edge um, of my wheat farm so that whenever I actually do automate it um, the water will just continue to flow down this way and not interrupt anything at all or flow over in the edge. Um, you'll notice, see, look, that's why I have the axe because I'm going to make a mistake. All right. Goodbye. I hear a zombie. Okay, now you're going to want to put half slabs on top of this row in the middle. And that is so the water will flow without wanting to go there in the middle and you can just very simply walk on this. And you will notice that whenever you do this your wheat will sometimes pop up on here um, but it's very very easy whenever you're crouching, um, crouch walking, you will walk up there. But you can't do that on these full blocks you have to jump. So that's why I put half slabs down in the middle because they still disrupt the flow of water but whenever you're crouching to till and plant everything so that you don't disrupt the dirt um, you'll just hop right up there. So that's why I use half slabs. The other thing I forgot to tell you is you're going to want a full wood plank right here at the very end um, and you'll see why in just a little bit. And I'll tell you why, because whenever we build the pistons for the water to come out, we need this full blockage right there. Okay, so now if you don't have any pistons, you're good to go. You can go ahead and till this and plant your wheat, and your wheat will grow, 
and you will have a wheat farm. But for those of you who are wanting to know how to do the automated wheat farm, um, just continue watching and I will show you. Okay, you are going to want to place a row of wood all along the back of the wheat farm so that your pistons can rest on it. Now you will see why um, here in just a little bit, but you want to have, um, let's see, you want to have wood plank right there in the middle. This is going to prevent water from flowing through. Now, you are also going to want to make a you'll see why I'm doing what I'm doing as I explain it. You're going to want to make this out crap. <laughs> Don't. All right, let's quit crouch walking. You're going to want to bring this out and have a stack of two and bring this across right here and you want it too high that way when you're planting you can very easily get in here. Need more wood. Now I'm going to put this block right here and this block right here just to make this a little stepping stone. Okay, now the reason why we're doing this is we're making a place for the water to go. If you look, once these pistons are extended, you're going to place water, buckets bring water right in here, and it's going to sit there. Then whenever you pull the lever um, on your wheat farm, guess what? It's going to pull back the pistons, and the water's going to flow and flow down and harvest all your wheat for you. So that's basically the mindset behind it. So in order to get your pistons powered, you're going to want to put a row of wood all the way behind the piston. Now, check this sucker out. And just go through and place redstone here. So you don't need it there. Okay, so you're going to want to place redstone all on top of that and then have a lever. Now you can put the lever anywhere and you can do anything that you want. Um, if you see in my farm I have a trail of um, redstone going underneath everything and putting the lever right here. You will need an extender if you are to do that um, but for this one I'm just gonna very simply keep the lever back here until I get more redstone. So now what happens Look, there's this thing. All the pistons are extended. We're going to get um, a bucket of water and pour in here. And then this will be full of water. And that is what I'm going to do next. All right, this is really simple. I don't have any more iron, so I'm going to have to do this one bucket at a time. Um, but what you want to do is just get your bucket of water um, and come and just fill this up so that it is an infinite source block up here. Um, so in order to do that, you'll need three trips. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do it in two. Um, 
so look, there's water up there. And I want to put this here. And I'm not going to pull out of there. Yep, need one more. Dang it. <laughs> How'd I screw that one up? All right. So we're going to put this right there. All right. So now that we've got water all the way in here, I'm going to take half slabs. And I don't know why I do this. I just like to do it this way and just cover this sucker up. Um, the other thing I kind of want to do is maybe cover up the back with the redstone. That way nothing happens to it. I don't think anything will happen to it, but you never know. Um, sometimes things happen. Um, so I'm going to put this here and watch what happens. Um, popping off my lever and look, water is flowing. So let's see what happens if I put the lever back on here, if it will still power everything. I think it will. Yeah. So I'm going to keep my lever back here, but I'm going to cover this up with half slabs and do kind of like I did um, on the back, just put a row of wood planks on the back. Anyways, what I'm doing now is just my own preference. You don't have to do it this way, um, but I will cover up the back side of that redstone just so it's not an eyesore. All right, so here's the wheat farm. Um, all you have to do is go through and uh, till the dirt and you'll want to plant the seeds and then the seeds are going to grow and once they grow into wheat um, turn this on the water flows down and pushes everything to the end then all you have to do just walk through and pick up your fully harvested wheat and seeds you should get um, very close to a stack of wheat and a stack and a half of seeds. So you're constantly producing more seeds to produce more wheat. This is a very efficient um, wheat farm. Now I will say this, and I said this kind of in my farm, there is a drop limit on the Xbox 360. Um, it's set at 200. So if this machine is producing almost a full stack of wheat and then a stack and a half of seeds, I mean that's over a hundred seeds and about sixty pieces of wheat. So right there you're at a hundred and sixty so you only have room for forty. So that's why really long wheat farms like this, you can make these farms um, very long to where um, the water will drop down. We'll pull, we'd, let's just say if we were doing that, we would pull this block down and, and raise every, lower everything one block and then continue to pull it out. And you can just keep doing that and add levels, and you can potentially have one that would produce 500, 600, I mean, as many as you want, and just keep letting the water flow down seven blocks. It'll drop and keep pushing everything forward. But on the 360 edition, we have this cap, this cap that prevents um, how many drops. So that's why I'm going to do multiple wheat farms. I'm just going to do one, which will produce one stack of wheat at a time, um, but I'm going to build a bunch of them and move, build them all over the farm. But this is how I do it. This is just a real quick tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. Um, I know I'm not very good at redstone, but it's enough to, to work for this thing. I will probably work out a way to put the button up here so I don't have to go all the way up there, turn it on and off, and then come all the way back out. I just need a little bit more redstone than what I have now, and I'm not really patient enough to go dig it out. But anyways, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you have any comments or anything at all, please subscribe. If you um, like my videos, I'd love to see more subscribers. Um, like this video, feel free to share it. Feel free to build your own. Show me pictures or videos of your design. Um, and I'm sure there's a thousand different ways that you can make this more efficient. Um, and even if you don't automate it. But yeah, this is Darth, Darth Tamanis. Um, next episode, I will be building a 
um, a farm for sheep so I can start gathering wool and then I'm going to start building my Japanese pagoda and I decided I'm going to build it up there on that hill you can see I've dug it out a little bit um, and I'm going to build it right there into um, the mountainside so half of it's coming out half of it's in the mountain um, so yeah the next episode that you'll be looking for for me is me building my sheep farm so that I can get enough wool for my house. Alright, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day and I will talk to you later.